This is an Electrolux Slimline, a Mark II Phase II facelifted model of the Electrolux Slimline range of cleaners from the 1980s. This one belongs to Mr. James and uh, as you can immediately see we have some work to do underneath this piece of masking tape is the snapped off little wing. What a shame that holds that into place. That is certainly one of the things that we need to try and fix and the rest is to give it all a clean up. So we have the machine, we have a bag of stuff that goes with the machine. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, this is one of Mr. James' little machines that he finds in excellent mint, complete condition, which this was, I think. I think he either he broke it not long after he got it, or it came broken with the part. I can't quite remember the tale, but you know, let's ignore that for now and look at the greenness of this machine. And the grime, yeah, she needs a good old refurb. The whole thing is black and filthy and disgusting. But apart from that, not too bad. And all I'm really noticing that is different is this wraparound furniture guard on the front. Everything else, bar the colour, is standard slimline stuff. Perhaps this decal here is of slight difference. Won't right know until we can find a ratings plate. Oh, we do have a bag inside it's oof, quite full sadly oh my goodness the ah, looking at the state of that filter we may have to get victor out before we turn this poor thing on okay let's let's get that cleaned out first I think it's fair to say the last thing that this poor thing did was vacuum up a lot of plaster dust. But the filters are now cleaner and I'm going to put them back because we've got to fit this bag back in to turn it on. And the problem with doing that is I don't want it to spit and go through. Look, the place filter once every year. I mean, it didn't say which year. I imagine it's been quite a few. So who knows, maybe... I said maybe we'll be playing, I don't actually know if we'll be able to find any, so we might have to keep these filters and just wash them. Oh my goodness. Right. We need to fit this bag quite carefully in order to not spew out too much dust because I don't want to fit a new bag yet. Let's get out of the way. There we go. That's clipped into there. This. Oh. There we go, that can go on to there, and that should be ready. Now, while we're down here, before we plug it in, we must note the, yeah, MK plug. It's a very nice, very vintage MK plug, but yeah, there's another one to go on it, which I'll show you when we get through the bag. Yeah, you know, that, that came on it with it, and as nice as it is, it is not for a machine like this. So yeah, it won't be staying, don't worry. With that potential problem taken care of, we can now see if it runs. It 
does run, it has the running symptoms of a very clogged up little vacuum cleaner, but that's fine. We won't stress it out too much. One other thing to note is that this being the redesigned model has a new moulding in the base and an electric dolphin front wheel caster in there. So yes, definitely into the era of the dolphin now. Here are its credentials. There we go. Very nice. And we can move on to the bag of stuff that came with it. We do have a new bag. Mr. James did assure me that it was genuine. And I, I, I sort of do believe him. But we'll save that for the very end. Ah, we also have the very nice swebline plug, which will be going on to this machine. There we go. That made in England by Bic. Hopefully that will be good enough to go on. And then we have the tools that came with this machine. Now the first thing that we should notice is that, yeah, it's got one of those Bluetooth hoses. You don't need that bit. You simply take the machine end, plug it in, and then all you've got to do is hold the end. And, oh. Yeah, there is a slight issue with the hose. I have the ends actually apart, which is very lucky indeed. Now, this is a Dolphin Era tool set, which you know, means that this is incredibly, incredibly familiar. Yes, they were sold with the slim line. Problem is, it ends in this three pin thing, as all slim lines do. So, whilst a Dolphin hose would be fine, because you know, I can just take off the end and clip that in, we do have the ends, and I sort of try to take apart this end, and <sighs> problem is, it's not threaded, it's pushed in. And then glued. So even assuming I can dig the remains of the hose out of the ends, you'd have to push this hose on. In fact, that's actually that's not too bad of a fit now. So yeah, assuming I can get that on there, we should be able to glue this in tightly enough to do something. But that's not too bad now. But there we go. That is all three parts of the hose. Then we have two very nice ones. These are nice. For plastic ones, they are very sturdy. They have these big inserts here, which pack out this bit. And then, yeah, just the, the thickness of the plastic, the classic Electrolux moulding into it, make these very nice ones indeed. We have a, I think, brand new, I mean, a big scuff mark on it there. But look at the plastic. Look at the dimples of the plastic at the end. That, in fact, and... In there, look, that's, well, it's, it's a bit dirty, but it's not scratched up. I don't think that crevice tool has ever been used. The, the dusting brush has a little bit. Classic Electrolux, expanding wing, flying fanny, upholstery tool, but in grey to match this machine. And then finally, I've never seen a twin pedal floor tool like this sold with a sim line. It may not even be the original floor tool for this machine. Please comment below, but... It's a good match, isn't it? So yes, we have this classic designed twin pedal metal base plate, brushes down, brushes up, grey floor tool, which yeah, does match this machine quite well. So yeah, here it is. Let us do some vacuuming with it in its pre-refurbished state. Although we won't be using this hose, I'll go and get the hose that I have for my own. Electrolux sim line. We have the hose that I have. I did briefly think of just using this because I don't think I need it. But it's also got a kink on there and I can't take that out because I need the other bit. So who knows? We should worry about that another day. Crikey, this is now ever so short because it, it relies on the longer hose end. But oh, where are you going back in? Let's see how badly she works. <laughs> It's easy if I kneel down. Oh, yeah, this floor head hates. Clappy floor tool. I'm in 
is still spinning, just nice than the other one. But no good at all. This thing needs a new bag, a filter wash, a good clean out of everything inside of it. And I think she will be good again and very nice too because it's going to be some really strange shade of greeny whitey once we get all of the rubbish cleaned off of it and the true colours revealed. So yes, there we go. Hopefully by the time you see this again, we'll have its correct hose end and be a lot nicer but until the next time i and some other poorly electrolux or other made vacuum cleaner will see you soon